Hey guys, this is Odron Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some summons for the guaranteed Shemnath. And honestly, the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, I don't really need Shemnath. I'm not going to lie, I already have one copy of Shemnath. She's an interesting champion, but she's not somebody that I would say, you know, if people pulled in the end game, oh my god, you have to build her instantly, as she's... Uh, you know, she's not the best. She's good. She has some interesting uh, quirky stuff in her kit, like double hit on the A2, triple hit, but single target on the A, uh, sorry, double hit on the A3, triple hit, single target on the A2. Then all, also on the A1, double hit with uh, decreased defense. So it can have some interesting utilities, plus, plus a quirky passive uh, with that gives her more accuracy, also more crit damage, but... Overall, I'm not sure she would be priority number one to be built on any account. However, the reason why, at least I am personally pulling for her is because, well, there's two big reasons. First of all, there's the summon rush going on for the for Packmaster Shiek, which I think, honestly, everybody should get because he's a, he's a pretty unique champion. He has a quirky kit. The most impressive thing about his kit is the fact that he has a taunt that is on for two turns. That's on a three turn cooldown. And also in the same skill, he does give himself a reflect damage, plus it's a, a shield as well. So, you know, overall, he does have an interesting kit that uh, I think makes it worth to try to get him. So that's the option. That's first one. Also, do keep in mind the fact that Ancient Shards during the Summer Rush give more points than they usually do. This time, they have the 100% more points. So instead of getting just 20 points per Ancient, we get 40. So... If you just make a, a little bit of a quick math over here with uh, our trusty calculator, we pull 150 for Shemnath times the 40, we get 6,000 points. That not only guarantees us to get the fragments, but we also get close to getting the second uh, the second legendary skill tome. So I'm going to pull maybe mysteries for the rest or whatever to get to 6,250. And that's, uh, you know, that's going to be it. Also, actually, there's going to be three reasons. Reason number two. There's some interesting champions over here on the 15 time. So I think because I already have all four of them, I think I would not mind a second Duchess. Like who knows, empowering one or maybe building a second one would be a good idea. So I'm definitely going to go with that. When it comes to the Apex, I'm not sure what, that I really care about any of them, but I guess uh, let me put a Mausoleum Mage I might empower him. So I hope you did not do your summons yesterday. Like I hope most people did not do the mistake of doing the summons yesterday because, you know, it was the whole 4th of July and whatnot together. So, yeah, I hope you waited till today because a chance to try and get Duchess is pretty nice. Also, reason number three and the one that I'm mostly excited about is the fact that it's going to allow me, because I already have one Shemnath, it's going to allow me to plus four my first legendary on my account. I already had, you know, I could already plus four him, but I never want to plus four anybody unless I have a full Faction Guardians first. So, I already had the pull, but I was missing another dupe, and well, Shemnath is going to be that dupe for me that's going to allow me to plus for my Gaius, and then I'm definitely going to build him, and I'm going to look forward to testing him in Arena. I feel like the best pairing for him would be with somebody like a Lady Kim, okay? He's a really strong bomb champion, but enough talking. Uh, let's buy, actually, I have to buy some, uh, I have to buy some shards, because let's see, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's, uh, I think I'm going to need to buy a, few, a lot more because uh, my math's not the best. Eight, that's 88 summons plus the 90 that I have, you know, we need 150. That That's what we need. I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to get something else in the meantime as well. So 107, that, needs, that means I need to get four more. One, two, three, and four. Goodbye, gems. I had quite a few saved up. I guess they're going right now. It is what it is. I'm just going to get them back. I do receive some as part of being a content creator. So, you know what? It's it's for the content. So, 151. Wish me luck. I hope I get... You know what? I hope I get something else as well. I hope I get a new legendary. I don't really care about getting another Duchess, to be fair, even though it might sound weird. I prefer to get a Horima, you know. I prefer to get a Horima or some other legendary that I actually do not have. Okay? That's, that's what I would be looking forward to. Like, even... Uh, Grand, what's his name? Grandmaster Padraig or Grand Oak Padraig? I forgot his name exactly. The one that was a part of a summon rush. That would be really interesting to get. But if not, it is what it is. I'm going to get myself closer to uh, to the Perry, I guess. To closer to the Mercy. And maybe there's going to be another quirky 15 times. Where we're going to put the Harima. And that, that way I'm going to be like, okay, I'm getting myself the Harima. But let's see. One can hope. If you'd also summoned 
for uh, for Shemnath, let me know in the comments down below. Did you get anything else or not? Do keep in mind that it's just a 15 times. There's no two times. So you're going to see lots of rare taxes like you saw for me. Like they were back to back rare taxes. That's going to happen. It's it's pretty normal. And that that's what, uh, you know, that's what is expected when we're now pulling during it two times. But still, I'm hoping for a legendary, okay? I'm hoping to get another legendary apart from Shemnath. That would be really nice. You know what? It's a, it's 150 summons that I do in the end. So maybe, maybe I get lucky. Who knows? Who knows? The, just one extra legendary. I think I will be happy with that. Obviously, the more the more the merrier. The more legends I get, the better. But doesn't look like it's gonna be. That doesn't look like it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be the case. Also, let me uh, know in the comments down below. Are you going for Pack Master Sheik or not? I'm really curious because. There's some mixed reactions about him, like even though he has the pretty unique kit, which usually means you shouldn't skip it, from my point of view, I hear a lot of people saying he's useless, oh he's not gonna be bad, It's a, he's gonna be bad, it's a wasted time and all that. Honestly, don't believe that. I do believe that he's, uh, again, he has a really unique kit, has a quirky kit, and I do believe there's lots of uh, areas where people can use him. Like I even showed a video where I did with him, Fellhound and three other champions, which are free to obtain, I did Spider 10 hard, okay? So if I could do that with him, I didn't even test him in Hydra, but I guarantee that he's gonna be even better. He's gonna be amazing in Hydra. So I definitely, you know, I'm not I'm not being paid by Ray to say that, but I definitely believe people should try and get him because uh, he's a pretty good one. Come on, hit me with the legend in this one. Come on, unless this was already the guaranteed. Come on, hit me with the lightning. Give me some stuff. I spent all my gems, Ray. Come on, 20 more. Oh, this hurts my soul. This hurts my soul. I think I was fresh off Mercy anyway, because I think last time I pulled down one plus one. Come on. Something. Well, it seems like uh, it's not going to be it. It seems like it's not going to be the case. It seems like I'm just going to get Shemnath at the end over here. And it is what it is. The cool thing is the fact that Shemnath does not reset the parry. Okay, so if you pull the 150, if we get her, my parry is still going to be 150 shards. So that means in the next 70, I'm going to be guaranteed to get a legendary. So that's, uh, you know, that's at least the good part about these guaranteed. So I guess since we did it, let's let me do it. Let me do the thing. It's my first ever plus four. Let's do this on video because why not? It, it's something unique. It's something that it's not going to happen as often, honestly, for me, because you know what? I don't have a... I don't buy shards like ever, so I don't pull that many, so it's hard for me to get plus fours. But I guess let's get the first plus four guys over here. I don't think I have a. Oh, yeah, do I have to remove a. Oh, I have to remove the gear from him to collection. Okay, I guess I, guess I have to take all of my guys out and remove the gear if they have any. So let's see. Not Ella Gaius, just plain Gaius. Uh, okay, I don't have space. Oh my god, really? Okay, so after spending like five minutes, because I'm a complete idiot, trying to, you know, get gear off of people, move them out, put them back in the vault because I don't have space. And apparently, you have to remove all of the gear before you can empower them. So, after fighting with myself to do that, I finally did it. And let's go. Plus four, Gaius. First one on my account ever. My first plus four legendary. And it's the Gaius. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to honestly. I'm really looking forward to playing with him in uh, in arena because that's that's the best thing about him. Okay, the best thing about him is the fact that he brings bombs. Like bombs are the best thing against the stone skin meta. So the fact that he can put bombs and also if they're not uh, under stone skin, he can land sleep as well is what makes him really powerful. And uh, he also has a quirky passive that he can land bombs and when he dies, the bombs explode. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. It's a uh, it's a strong one. It's nice to see my first plus four on my account. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it at this for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.